Hello, hello, how's everybody's day doing? I'm a member of the Blended community and welcome to the video. Today we're going to be discussing something, uh, something new on the channel here. Blender 2.8, also known as Blender EV, or E-E-V-E-E. -E -E. Uh, basically the biggest update to this is the real-time lighting and rendering, but we're not going to get into that now. Because you're here to figure out how to show mesh as lights in Blender EV. So, here's what we're going to do. Uh, take your default scene, delete everything in it for now, and we'll just create a little plane here. I'll scale it up to the grid, and you can put two loop cuts. I'm just doing this to set up a scene. I'll be done extremely quick. There we go. There we go. So this is a simple little scene that we have here, and let's just say our mesh would be a sphere. And we can make the sphere smooth if you want or something like that. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to apply a material. We can call it a mission, E-M-I-S-S-I-O-N. There we go, and we can uh, crank it up a little. Now you see, if we go in here, it has a white glow to it, but nothing around it is being affected by the emission. Now, normally in cycles, if we were to do that, let's see cycles, everything around it would be lit up like it is here, but it's not. So here's what we're going to do to fix that. So go back in Eevee. All you need to do is go into Add, and then go to Light Probe and Iridescence Volume. Y irid Iridance? Iridance volume. It's Christmas break, guys. I haven't been in school in a while. <laughs> so, all you need to do is scale that up so the little uh, little points or little balls that you see on the inside uh, cover the whole area that you want your light to be affected. For example, I want my area to be affected like that. Now, if we hit Shift Z, nothing happens. But what we can do is under our render panel over here, we can go to indirect lighting and we can hit bake indirect lighting and bake cube map only. Now you can play around with these. I personally prefer bake indirect lighting, but when we do, watch what happens. Our scene is suddenly lit up from the emission object. Now here's the withdrawal. We can't move the object, or if we do, it won't be updated. We can always hit bake indirect lighting again, and then the scene will be properly updated. But for now, we're gonna have to hit that every single time, unless you could hit auto bake and have it automatically bake once in a while, but that doesn't seem like it's working right now. So let's just go back to the original and bake the cube map, but let's free everything up and hit bake indirect lighting. Now here's the cool part about it. Go here to mesh cube and the light actually affects everything on the inside too. So check this out. Um, as we can see, the cube is being affected by the light here. If we were to move it farther away, it doesn't get as lit, but this is just one way of applying mesh lights in Blender. Now for lighting your scene, I would still recommend going to light and using point. Um, this does work and it is uh, as realistic as mesh lighting could be. But most people, they prefer mesh lighting because they could use planes. But with probe lighting, you can always use area like this. And then you could come down here to your light. If I can find the panel, <laughs> they haven't really done a good job of that. And then you can bump up the shape here. So it's just like a plane lighting your scene, um, but it's not a mesh light and you don't need to go through all this work. However, however, this mesh light could be used in other projects, such as creating a monitor with a screen that needs to be emitting light, like you see in this render here. One of my most recent renders I did. If you haven't seen it, go check out my art station, my DeviantArt, or my Instagram at Blender Sponge. Now this wasn't an original video, this wasn't my idea, I didn't create this. I did get the video from somebody in the Blender forum, so I will link that down in the description and all props to whoever figured that out. But for now, I'm just bringing it to YouTube so it's easier for you guys, but all credit goes to that guy somewhere in the Blender forums. But that is how you add mesh lights in Blender and you can interact with anything in the scene. Just keep in mind, once you move the light, you're going to have to go back into your render settings and hit bake indirect lighting. Really simple. So that was it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. I'll leave a link to my gaming channel that I never use down in the description also. And um, hope your day is going well. I've been a member of the Blender community and I'll see you all later.